For a lot of you that have been around the block, you know that June is the gayest month of the year and all of the companies bow to the altar of wokeness and uh, celebrate with their rainbow flags or whatever else they're attaching to it at this point in time. And then when it's all said and done, they crumple it up like a piece of unwanted paper and throw it in the trash can. But now they're starting to widen what it means to be a month they're changing they've already changed the definition of what it means to be a man and a woman so why not change the definition of what it means to be a month and there's been two major I might as well just go with two major targets of boycotts from those goddamn conservatives it's just them causing all the problems even though one of my favorite memes that i've seen at least over the past 24 hours on uh, on this wonderful website we know as twitter.com has been the repurposed footage from the george floyd protests uh, a peace be upon him from 2020 that have started to recirculate and then they've been recaptioned by saying oh take a look what those evil trump supporters are doing now ransacking and looting target and protest of all of their pride stuff that is uh, oh it's it's top tier hall of fame trolling and you love to see it in the stupid community notes going well uh, actually that's from 2020 yeah we can tell by the the looters that are down there but a target being a target huh of the boycott probably shouldn't come to a surprise to very many people like they're headquartered in minnesota Minnesota, the one state that voted for Walter Mondale in 84. It's not shocking. It's really not shocking. And in this little tweet thread that's right here, it comes as really no surprise at all whatsoever what they're up to. So pride is no longer about, and I think this is a typo. That doesn't make any sense. Lesbians, bi's, or trans. Unless this is truly all femme-centric, which at the end of the day, that's really my take on this stuff, is that, yeah, they all just need to... It, it, transgenderism, okay, just the open, rampant misandry that we've seen in advertisements over the better part of three, four, five decades at this point in time. It's just all to make men look stupid, ridiculous, borderline abusers, and just make them lesser in order to raise up women because that's what feminism always has been always will be and that's what's moving product at least that's been at the forefront of advertisement for the longest point in time now but i think that you probably we're trying to throw gay into there and then take off the t because smarter more intellectual minds have also pointed out that yeah all of this stuff really kind of started to the whole alphabet mafia people it all kind of started out with lesbians gays and bi's and it's like yeah it was a sexual thing and it kind of stayed over there it need not really be discussed it was yeah just if guys wanted to lay together that's fine burn in hell but enjoy your time while you're here same with women okay in between boxing rounds and prompt two matches that start out in your living room if you want to scissor at the end of the day fantastic or if you're going to higher education you want to kiss the girl but and then in actuality you just wanted to impress the uh, impress the chad on the football team that cho or showed up you go ahead and be by but the rest of this stuff that's just kind of been stapled on and there's just new letters all the time and we can't even keep our fucking acronym straight at this point in time yeah that whole t getting slapped on the end of it or q or whatever else a's the other a the two the plus the whatever's on there it kind of took it away from just being a simply behind the bedroom door activity to being an entire lifestyle and we know that's how we advertise things so if there's money to make on this you can just go ahead and you can take that rainbow plaster it on anything co-opt it and sell it because having a more inclusive message behind something makes it more palatable to the masses i don't know but pride is no longer about I'm going to go ahead and uh, rejigger that in order to make it make more sense. L G B. Okay. It's all about the T Q plus. I don't know what the rest of that shit is to be completely honest. I know it's two spirit. I is a asexual. Is that the, is that the guys who don't want any and the chicks who don't want to give any? Okay. I, I don't even know what the I means to be completely honest, but Q's for queer, which is how I would describe all of the stuff that's coming up and has for the past couple of months. Target has made a commitment to the trans activist agenda that extends well beyond June. Yeah, we know, we know. Uh, so this, uh, so when the trans inclusive rainbow display goes away, you shouldn't resume shopping as usual. Unfortunately, I can't, but your mileage may vary. Erasing gender slash sex identity or ungendering children and teens is the ultimate goal. The target? Okay, cool. Uh, don't believe me? See it for yourself. Below is a video promoting a collaboration with Dapper Q at Target Youth World Pride Show in 2019. 
I just wish that these women would dig a little bit deeper and realize that it's just, yeah, 80% of consumer choices are made by women. Okay, they own 75% of the debt. And if you dig into the numbers further, it's actually worse. And it's more femme centric than that. They just want the female dollar because that's the one that's most in circulation. It's really that simple. Okay, but no, 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 they're just trying to, you know, brainwash your kids in my deep state and all that, you know, unnecessary nonsense. Okay, uh, what do we got here? Okay, gross. Uh, in 2017, so yeah, we, we know, we know that this has been going on for a while, but it doesn't hurt to restate the obvious. Uh, Target Ungendered Youth World Pride Show featured 10 diverse Labugataka youth who were each provided $100 Target gift cards. Come on stage and perform and all you get is a $100 gift card? Bruh, that's, that's pretty fucking cheap. Uh, to style a look that affirmed their identities. Unless that was to just show off what you can get for $100 at Target. I guess that sort of makes sense. It's still a cheap ass. Target is committed to erasing biological sex. Being a, do we dare? Yeah, whatever. Being a male or a female is determined by the costume one wears. Here is more of their ungendered collaborations with Dapper Q. Yeah, there's no getting that mixed up. That's a dude right there. That's why you can always tell the choker to hide the Adam's apple. Okay, and the five o'clock stubble that they mess right around there. You know. <laughs> Do I even need to explain that one? Okay, that uh, now. Okay, we're in 26 and starting at cornerback for UTEC. Oh, fucking Christ, bro got a mustache like for fuck's sakes what are we what are you even doing here and then that one right there yeah that could be that would look like a dumpy sidekick for ellen page in one of her previous films but now it could be a love interest and whatever the, the fuck that thing's doing right now doesn't she look healthy or he look healthy that look healthy juno's going through a rough point in 2022 target determined that they hadn't gone far enough we ain't come too far to figure Ugh. why because radical activists told them so the thing about radical is this they never stop pushing boundaries yeah we know we know seneca falls the first meeting of feminists in 1858 and now we're here now we're here discussing all of this dumb shit because somebody just went, no, no, that's what should have happened, but it didn't. So now, yeah, we know they don't ever stop pushing boundaries. They are never satisfied, of course, because they always have that itch and given their chemical ca castration, they can't actually reach climax anymore so that they're yeah perpetually frustrated. That's why 42% of the time, <sighs> but this year. Target is doing something different instead of just selling a, oh, please tell me more instead of just... Uh, selling a ton of rainbow kitsch that might end up in a landfill after the parties and parades are over. Mm, okay. Target will be carrying stylish and practical items. Oh, that's nice. Such as chest binders. Stylish stylish and trend practical. Like chest binders. That doesn't seem to make any sense. Let them titties out. Oh, no. Wait a minute. You're trying to brainwash people with bike shorts. Okay. And human... Uh, uh, no, chest binders and for the first time, thanks to a new collaboration with Tom Boy X. Okay. And Humankind, two queer-owned, female-founded brands. See? It's always there. It's always fucking there if you... It's not, I was going to say look hard enough, but... Come on, if you just fucking read it. No. Who's making all the money? The ones who realize all the ads are pointed towards them. Wow, big shock. In addition... To chest binders, the Tomboy X collaboration offers packaging, underwear, bras, and boy shorts size small to 4X. Because don't worry, guys. What's the equivalent? What's the equivalent for body positivity for guys? Oh, there isn't any. That's right. There is no equivalent to Lizzo on the male side. Even the ones that you can initially point to. What was it? Uh, Ethan Supley. Or, yeah, Ethan Supley. I'm a guy of a certain age. I seem to remember Varsity Blues. Okay. Where, yeah, the big fat offensive lineman, he got made fun of. And Allie Larder looked hot as shit in that whipped cream bikini. Yeah. Yeah. But now, now we're told that, yeah, Lizzo, a talented flutist and a wonderfully beautiful woman. Unless, of course, you want to tell one of these pseudo-women that they're beautiful like Lizzo, then all of a sudden they want to start throwing hands. But I'm six and a half feet tall and I don't miss. But when you write it like small to 4X, it kind of looks like you're saying sex. But that's all that these people think about. It's just the lowest level impulses constantly need to be reaffirmed because they've never really had to think outside of the box. 
but they're always constantly thinking about anyways enter 2023 target pushes the envelope and makes a decision to create swimwear for trans youth yes with tucking and all that gay shit as well uh though most of the bindings swim tops tuck friendly bottoms well to be fair i guess i technically when i'm out running i technically wear binding clothing like i got under armor compression shit okay because yeah I, it's always windy up here, and I don't need to have the additional air drag, so that's just why I do it, and it keeps good posture at the same time, so it's kind of nice, but does that make me a tranny? Um, last time I checked, nope, still there. Uh, and uh, ungendered swim collection is geared toward, that just used to be called, like, unisex shit, like, t-shirts? Like, I thought those were, like, monosex, or I don't fucking know what we're doing at this point in time. Uh, uh, geared towards teens and young adults. There are several pieces made to fit children. Oh my god. When we are witnessing firsthand rainbow capitalism, okay, this branch of woke capitalism is pervasive in nearly all Fortune 500 companies, and it's pretty obvious that Target is leading the pack. Yeah, and we're going to see who else gets added to that very, very shortly. But is it enough? Of course it's not enough. Uh, why is this insanity happening? Um, I... I, I posited my opinion at this to begin with um, because women are easier to sell to because they're the more emotional sex. Meanwhile, men, it'll just be practical buy or yeah, practical purchasing decisions. Oh, wow. You guys are doing that gay shit. Yeah, that shit can just stay on the shelf. I'm just going to go over here and buy what the fuck I want. I'm not going to support any of that fucking weirdo stuff unless I need to make a good joke about it. Then, yeah, I'd think about it, but... Just fucking weird. That's about the extent when it comes to a male boycott. You've seen that because it was so goddamn easy with Bud Light, which we'll talk about next. And why the whole Target thing, it's going to be kind of a passing fad in contrast. But like it says down here as well, uh, for those who are asking what, oh yeah, the big gay alphabet thing needs. Yeah, that's wonderful and fantastic. Just wanted to get her opinion on this because I'm sure it's going to be, oh, I'm sorry, insightful insightful uh there are a lot there's a lot more money to be made the political power to be amassed and the child going down the path of sex a gender transition compared to a child coming to the conclusion that they may be disordered thinking or have same sex attracted yeah yeah, yeah. unfortunately it's all about the benjamins for most yes just please next time just peel back that layer of the onion one more time and you might get to the bottom of it you might but that would require, ah, you know what, just not having that cognitive bias just itched enough. Oh, there's something wrong with that tranny agenda. Yes, we agree on that. And that's what they're trying to cater to. No, they're a fraction of a fraction of a percentage of the population. You extrapolate that out further. Who's actually supportive of all of that stuff in contrast? Okay, it's the women, okay? Who voted? All you need to do is just take a look at the results of the previous 2022 midterm election. Who was the single largest voting bloc for the Democrats at a clip of 68%? Single unmarried women. There you go. Well, obviously the single part would imply that. But yes, unmarried women. 68% of the time vote for the Democrats. Even when it comes to married women, it's a lot lower than that, and it seems to conform much more to their conservative-leaning husbands, but they still tend to vote a little bit more for the Democrats. So if you appease to those women who are, well, I know I'm, I'm straight, but if anybody wants to go love whoever they want, that's totally fine. Love is love. I, I wouldn't get in the way of anybody else that's out there. That's the general tone and tenor that's out there, and that's why this shit has allowed to uh, just kind of mutate and grow into the fact that yeah now we got a month-long season-long celebration on all this stuff but like i posited before is it enough well, fucking of course not now they're just out there being terrorists just like the good feminists that they ultimately are at the end of the day utah target evacuated after a one of those dastardly trump supporters oh i'm sorry received a bomb threat from turning its back on the gay community after pride collection walk back store is one of several to receive threats oh from the gay community Oh, where's the coverage on this? And this I think this happened a day ago. It was just first, yeah, it was updated today, but it was first reported on yesterday. But oh, intra oh, where, why why didn't you hear about if 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 it, if it was a straight white guy in support of it? Oh, he was wearing a he was wearing a red hat and oh he posted it all over the internet. Oh look at those MAGA supporters, they're out there, they're ruining Target. But there's bomb threats going on. 
from the gay side of this stuff. We already knew that they were mentally unstable, but now now you're commit that that's breaking a law right there. And you're just gonna go ahead and be fine with that? Okay, okay. Utah Target has been evacuated and a bomb squad has been called in. Multiple threats were made across the country. A state and five in Ohio. Across uh, across Utah and in Ohio, after the com- company's annual pride collection sparked fury. A latent target located at 810 West 2000 North was evacuated after receiving multiple bomb threats. Multiple bomb threats. Bomb squad and K-9 unit were deployed to the store at around 1 p.m. according to KUTV. Uh, interesting. I'd replace the N with the V or the V with the N and then switch the final two letters around. You might get something close to what I'm thinking. All staff and customers were directed to the parking lot. Oh, God. Well... Okay, if this is happening in Utah, they actually would have just left the merchandise and then came back and paid for it. Anyways, uh, police said stores in Layton, Salt Lake, Taylorsville, and Provo were threatened. Fantastic. Authorities came aware of the threats after local news stations received emails threatening danger and referencing the company's new controversial pride collection. Oh, they were so waiting to go. Oh, those fucking conservative extremists. They're taking their boycott to the... Oh, wait, there's rainbows. Gay messaging in there. Oh, Fuck, we just about had them. Five targets across Northeast uh, Ohio and Pennsylvania were also threatened, according to Cleveland 19, who received a threatening email listing stores in Stowe, North Canton, Broadmo- or Boardman, okay, Niles, Ohio, and uh, Monica, Pennsylvania. Okay, or Mon- whatever, man. At a super target. Oh, that's one of them big boys right there. I'll take a minute in order for them to completely sweep out, but that's their gate collection, I guess. Um, yeah, um, I don't know why anybody would dress like that, but you you got a reason, I suppose. I don't even know if gay guys would actually find that fashionable. That just kind of looks super fucking haram, to be completely honest. Uh, Target is full of cowards who turn their back on... Okay, what would that be? Would that be fucking... Because it definitely, it it would be hilarious if they would say, you know, just uh, Target is full of pussy cowards. That would be funny. Uh, who turned their back on the gay community and decided to cater to homophobic right-wing redneck bigots. It's funny you would put that, but they always do that. They always self-snitch. Who protested and vandalized their store, so we're going to blow it up. Okay. We won't stand idly by as the far right continues to hunt us down. If they're the only ones that are left shopping right there, because they're the ones that are tearing down the stores, you're emailing in and calling in a bomb threat. Um... Who's the one who's doing it? Man, we're trying to apply rational thought to unreasonable people. Okay, I understand. We are sending you a message. We placed a bomb in the following targets. How would you do this? There's like six of you. You get around, I guess. It's not like you have anything else to do. We will continue to bomb your targets until you stop cowering and bring back your gay merchandise. That's just in the back of the store. Like, you can go get it there if you want. Cleveland 19 reported the threatening email. Oh, I'm sorry. We will not be erased. We won't go quietly. Yeah, we know. You never stop bitching. You get disproportionate media coverage. Shit's hilarious, though. Layton Police Sergeant John Otessen told... I was going to say what I was thinking. KUTB. That the threats made in Utah came from a bogus email address. Yeah, it was probably like a Hotmail or an AOL account. That shit would be funny, though. But yeah, that's a that's a wide swath of areas. And holy shit, man. Like, okay. Yeah, Target is full of all the... Ca- and then they got the proper... Proper... Okay. Oh, it was actually a Gmail account. Aslan Ak- Akhmedov um, to members at Timcast. Interesting? Okay, weird. Okay. um, Very, very strange. Okay, so... What else have we got? It was after a series of angry mothers took to Twitter and TikTok to complain. Over the last few weeks, Retail Giant has reviled, oh, has been reviled by families, particularly mothers, because we know why, for putting transgender clothes, books, and greeting cards in its stores. The outraging confusion sparked not so much confusion. It's like, why are you selling that shit for? It's fucking weird. Over a range of tuck-friendly female swimsuits. What, what would you have to tuck in? Like, I know, I've read the Bible with some um, chicks that have some stuff that you might be able to... L- large lips! There you go. That you might have to tuck in, but why would you need an entire pouch with, like, a, the six-inch slot? Like, it doesn't really make that much sense, but... Okay. Uh, the company released a statement that insists the suits were only available in adult sizes. The lie detector test proved that that was a lie! Wow, imagine that. Imagine that, but... Yeah, man, um... 
conservatives are going in there making some YouTube videos. Uh, the gay community, on the other hand, or somebody masquerading as the gay community, which they kind of do when they uh, try to pretend to be men or women when they're not. Um, yeah, they're the ones who are being the terrorists. Big shock on that one. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.